Hey guys, Rex out here. Welcome to another Waken Chaos Era video. Today we are going to showcase the Dungeon Dragon. So Dragon 12, I'm going to show you a way to do it manually with um, Desmond and Santis as the team. So Desmond, we're going to run a Santis and a Hakron. So quickly, I'm going to show off Desmond. So we, he's in a revival set. So be aware of that. He's in 18k health, uh, speed 190, focus is 126. Focus is very important. We need him for the plague. So that the reason why we mine is not skilled, obviously you could probably skill yours. Uh, mine, I did do a little bit of skilled here. You know, the healing, I got the uh, healing effect on the A1 and all that. Basically what, what we are doing here is we're doing deals uh, the plague from the A3 ability here. Enters the state of plague emissary until cancelled. So basically, having him un, on not on skills, he will just keep this activated for eight turns. Then he will turn it off, right? So what this does applies a plague to the enemy at the start of the turn, with a 100% chance of spreading the plague to another random enemy. Plague drains health at the start of the turn. So basically, what he does this is like a, another type of poison, right? So the plague deals damage based on the current health at the start of the turn. Now, all right, just so you have an idea, all right. Um, Blackhorn is kind of like a speed demon. What we've got to do is make him slower. He is way too fast. We need to make him way slower. Okay, so we made Hack Blackthorn slower. So he's at 22k health, almost 23k health, 135 speed. That's basically the important stuff there. Next, we have Santa. Santa is a speed demon speed demon so she hasn't i haven't changed the gear from last time as you can see 189 speed um health is 18 almost 19k there and of course a focus next thing obviously um my hacker is a bit of a, a goat all right so he's at 4490 defense here um 16k health, 2k attack, 130 speed. Um, fully glyphed. Most of my champions are fully glyphed except for one or two, as you probably would have seen from previous videos. But let's jump into it. Hey guys, Rexar here. I'm going to show you how to do Gemini Dragon 12 with Desmond and Santas. So I'm going to show you their stats real quick. So Desmond. And do that so you can see 19k health 1300 defense 190 speed 100% focus very important for the focus <laughs> then we're going to show you Santis 21,000 health 167 speed 1100 defense obviously if I got her defense a little bit higher it would be better and then 72% focus it's quite low honestly um What we could do is probably chuck a better focus. Uh, let's go health with with uh, focus. It is on Desmond. I can't do that. Uh, we could probably enchant that. No. That's okay. We'll leave it as it is. She does fine anyway. Obviously, you want to aim for. 100% focus. We're going to be using a Hakron, of course. That's Hakron stats 130 speed, 4.4k defense, 1600 health. And then the lucky last one is Blackthorn 35 speed, almost 23k health, and yeah, that's it. So let's jump into it. So, what we are going to do is run mercy shield with the jaya spell or the heal over time what you gotta do is make sure your abilities are turned off so make sure Sanchez's ability is off and Desmond's ability is also off and the main purpose is to kill the right minion then the left so if you just watch closely I'm gonna hide 
and uh, yeah, we'll jump into it. Gonna turn so just before round eight starts, we're gonna turn Desmond's ability on because that minion should die. We're gonna start spreading the plague. All right, and then we're gonna turn it off. That minion should die next round. Then on. On not this round, but the next one is when we will turn on Santis' abilities. So not so after she takes a turn here, we're gonna turn her abilities on. We're gonna spread the poison. Doing good. Duplicate the poisons. And we're going to chuck these amount of poisons on to the dragon, which should be more than enough to kill it. Yeah, the black horn heals everyone. Very good. Chucks all them onto the dragon. Hopefully that is more than enough that you'll get. He's going to do a 50. All you need to do is get the poisons to do that last 11% of health. Which should be done. Bang. That is all you need to do. That is your dragon 12 team. Now obviously you will see the Gangalo and the Santas one as well. So if you have either one of those champions. So what you do here. Santas should do her... A1 on the dragon, very good, no curse proc, perfect, perfect. So the reason you want Gangalo to go before the others go is because you will do a no positive effects. Um, very important for this to go. Right, then you got to make sure Santis's, um ultimate is on afterwards. She will extend, hopefully you get a curse proc from Gangalo, not a big deal. So we remove all the stacks here and we get another poison. Alright, very good. Sense goes, applies more poisons. Yes, yes, yes. More poisons, more poisons, more poisons. So 
So now we just got to hope Santis doesn't proc her curse, which she doesn't, and that is a great. Now the dragon is definitely going to die next turn. Here he goes. Hopefully he doesn't kill anyone. Amazing, and he should be dead. And that is basically what you do. So if you're not quite yet into stage 12, you can do stage 11 with this team. Should be more than enough. You should be strong enough. If you have ideally the same amount of health, etc., it should work. So Stannis is ultimate off. Same kind of speeds. The speeds didn't need to change at all. Make sure Stannis is ultimate gets turned on for round two. If anything, 11 is a little bit more viable because his resistance is not so high. So you should naturally stack more poisons. Now, if you watch my Witch of Wind, you'll see a uh, faith set here would be viable because they will apply a shield on them. Um, but obviously, it doesn't overly matter. You'll see the amount of poisons happen here. The Gangalo under 50%. He does another turn. Get dodged. Sanders removes all fury. And this may become a problem here because Sanders is a little bit low health. That was a bit unfortunate. But nonetheless, we should be strong enough and it will die. So it's a little bit easier on stage 11 than it is 12. Um, no one should die here. And yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, if you can't do stage 12, um, Hakarin will salute for Valuk in 12 as you do need the, the defense. It's kind of huge. I hope that helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.